While local audiences are getting a taste of the major Chuseok films released last week, international audiences are getting a taste of the latest Korean movies at the Toronto International Film Festival. And for more, we have our film critic and journalist Pierce Conran in the studio. Welcome back, Pierce. Pleasure to be back. Thank you. All right. So you were telling me that there's a stage. Uh, the festival is staging a special program called the City to City Seoul program. And were Korean movies generally given this big of a part in the event? in the past? Uh, well, this is certainly a special year for Korean film at the Toronto Film Festival. Now, in recent years, well, Toronto's always been quite big, but in recent years it's become an especially significant event. Mm -hmm. um, some would say that it's the, the biggest film festival in the world, although most people will still say that's Cannes, because mm -hmm. there's this kind of trifecta of major film, film festivals in Europe, which include, of course, Cannes, Berlin, and Venice. Um, and while Toronto is probably more significant than Berlin and Venice these days, but kind of between Cannes and Toronto, it's just a, it's a little different, but there's an issue of prestige. The thing about Toronto is that most of the films that will end up competing in the Oscar season, they get their, their debuts at Toronto. Mm -hmm. Some do at Venice as well, because we're kind of at the same time. But um, yeah, Korean films have screened uh, over the years at uh, Toronto many times. But uh, this year is very special because they have this city-to-city -city sole focus. So uh, there's far more Korean films. And even though this is a, a very much a festival for Oscar films, there's also a, it's also a huge grounds for discovery for other films that will kind of go around the film festival circuit over the next months. Mm -hmm. So to tell us more about the program, is it the organizers pick one city per year? That's correct. So the city-to-city -city focus, it's uh, it's the purpose is to highlight the cinema of a, of a specific nation. Now they say it's a city to city focus and mm -hmm. that it's Seoul, but really most of the films that take part in this program are actually uh, in other parts of Korea. So it's really just about Korean cinema rather, rather than just Seoul. Mm -hmm. um, but so uh, this, is, this isn't quite special for Korean films to have this kind of a major birth because there's also um, Korean films in other sections of the festival. So in total, there's actually 14 films this year. Oh, okay. And the films that are in the program, the City to City uh, program, are they newly released films or? Um, well, it's kind of a mix. There are, uh, there's a few world premieres, but uh, starting with some of the films that have already been around a little bit, I already mentioned Cannes. Uh, two of the films in the section uh, debuted at Cannes back in May. Hmm. Uh, those are uh, A Girl at My Door, which is the uh, kind of an indie, indie-ish drama with uh, Beduna and Kim Sero and Song mm -hmm. Sebyok. And this is produced by Yi Chang Dong. It's directed by a new director called July Jung. And um, this is a, a really terrific film that went down very well at Cannes. And uh, joining it is uh, A Hard Day, which was very popular here in Korea. And uh, that stars Yi Song Yoon and Cho Jin Ung. It's kind of a, a kind of action thriller with a, a real kind of a black humor about it. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that really went down a treat at Cannes. It's um, a very fun, uh, kind of jazzy uh, action thriller and uh, that's sure to do well in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, from Berlin, there was A Dream of Iron, which is this um, very austere documentary about uh, POSCO, which is the, the um, steel working maker. plant, yes, mm -hmm. in Pohang. And um, then there's also from Locarno, another big festival in Switzerland, there's some more art house stuff like uh, Alive, which is the new film by Pak Chong Bom, which debuted at Jeonju, and then Gyeongju, which stars Pak Kei Il, and that's a new Jang Ryul film. Uh, mm -hmm. So a lot, the stuff that has already premiered. Mm -hmm. So out of those, what would you recommend the most? Well, I was, I'm very partial to both of the films at Cannes. Uh, there's a reason they went to Cannes. They're very good. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, A Hard Day is really just kind of a terrific uh, genre cinema. It's so fun. It's, it's very tight. There's no flab in it where you might have sometimes of Korean thrillers. There's not really any melodrama. It's just, it's snappy. It's fun. It's always surprising. And uh, it's quite innovative in its way. Mm -hmm. um, a Girl at My Door is uh, quite similar to other Yi Chang Dong films, uh, which is a very flattering comparison. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very, I mean, it's, there's a lot going on. You could call it dense, but it doesn't feel that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the performances are amazing. It looks incredible. And it's, there's a lot you can think about if you choose to kind of let yourself go into it that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very keen on those. I also really like Alive, but that's a very difficult film. It's very bleak. It's three hours long. It's not for everyone. It's more like a documentary, would you say? Um, I wouldn't call it a documentary, but maybe cinema verite. There's, mm. uh, it's very, uh, it's kind of social realism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really good, but uh, I, I, I can't just recommend. You really it to have everyone. to love the movie to love the movie. You have no to way. be comfortable sitting for three hours in a dark right. theater for dark movie. <laughs> and what about other movies? Uh, you didn't really like the rest. 
of the movies? Uh, actually, I, the thing about this program is uh, I, uh, once I saw the lineup and once I saw all the films particularly, I had to kind of say, you know, hats off to the programmers. It's, it's a great lineup. The eight films that are in the City to City Soul Focus are really, really good. Hmm. Okay. And the films that those um, that you did, like, you mentioned the Scarlet Innocence? Oh, so these are, these are the films that haven't screened yet. Uh -huh. So uh, there are some new films uh, that are having their world premieres there. Mm -hmm. And those are, yeah, Scarlet Innocence, which is the new film starring Chong Sung, who of course was recently in The Divine Move. And actually his film from last year, Cold Eyes, was also at the Toronto Film Festival mm -hmm. as a gala presentation. Um, this is a film, again, that I really enjoyed. It's uh, directed by Eun Pil Sung, who's kind of this incredible visual stylist mm -hmm. who made the films Antarctic Journal and uh, Hansel and Gretel. So it's been seven years since he made a feature, though he was involved with Doomsday Book, a sci-fi omnibus from a few years ago. It starts off as kind of a romantic, kind of a melodrama, very kind of erotic, but then uh, it kind of switches gears completely and it's very surprising and very well made. And the other world premiere is uh, Cart, which is again kind of a social drama mm -hmm. about uh, middle-aged women who are sacked uh, at their temporary jobs at a large um, supermarket uh -huh. and they, uh, they go on strike. And uh, so it's kind of based on a real story. Mm -hmm. It's very timely. Um, the, the ensemble cast with uh, this kind of a female-driven cast is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, it's directed by Women Bu Ji Young, who uh, previously made kind of um, very indie films, and uh, I thought it was quite powerful mm -hmm. and uh, so a good social drama. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you said there were going, there is going to be, there are going to be 14 movies, Korean films altogether, eight yes. in the program. That's so right. what about the rest, the six other movies? Um, so the other six, I, I forgot to mention, Confession is another film in City mm. the City Seoul, uh, international premiere uh, at Toronto, but it actually already screened in Korea. It was a huge failure here, but it's actually really, really good. Mm. But moving on to the other films, we have um, the master's section features uh, the new films by Hong Sang-soo and Im kwon -tek. Um, Hong Sang-soo's Hill of Freedom, his shortest film is 67 minutes. Mm -hmm. I think I spoke about it a few weeks right. ago. Uh, not his best, if I might say, but still good if you like his films. Mm -hmm. And then In Contact, his 102nd film, Revivre, and uh, quite a good film there. Those were both at Venice. And then there's uh, Hemu, which is having its gala presentation mm -hmm. at Toronto, produced by Bong Joon-ho, directed by Shim Songbo, who wrote Memories yeah, of Murder. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really good. Um, it didn't uh, catch no. on fire here in Korea, but it's already doing very well on the international circuit. Mm -hmm. Toronto, San Sebastian, uh, it's going to be at a lot of other festivals as well. Mm -hmm. So all in all, what would you recommend the most? Um, I guess I'm including all the films that are uh, featured in the Toronto International uh, Festival. Well, uh, briefly from what I've seen, which of course includes mostly the Korean films, right. I would certainly say Hemu, I would say A Girl yeah, at My Door. You mentioned that a couple of times yeah, that you're a big I'll, fan I'll of I'll keep Hemu. talking about it for a while. <laughs> Anything of Bong Joon-ho attached, I'm a total fanboy. Uh -huh. But in terms of films that I'm really curious to check out, because these are brand new, so I don't have, haven't had a chance to see a lot of them, there's the film Nightcrawler, which stars Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it kind of deals with uh, media and the press. It's kind of like there's a film called Network in the 70s. People are comparing it to that. And that's a real big classic. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious to see that one. Um, one director who I've not really warmed to in the past is Kevin Smith. But his new film, Tusk, is supposed to be very, very good. It stars Justin Long as someone who ends up going to someone's house in Canada. And this person takes him hostage and tries to turn him into a walrus. Mm. Um, um, so it's uh, very interesting, but the reviews have been very strong. Mm. There's a smaller film called Spring, which is by um, directors called um, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. And uh, they made a film called Resolution, which I really liked from a few years ago, though it's very small. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met these guys at PFAN a few years ago, and they have this incredible energy. And this new film is getting really strong reviews, and I can't wait to see it. Okay, all right. A lot going on in, in uh, Toronto there. Too much. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Piers, for coming in today. My pleasure. Thanks.